Welcome back to my channel. I am is 316 and today I'm going to be reviewing Superman from DC Primal Age. So here we go. This is the front side of the packaging. And this is the back side of the packaging right there. Check out all those wonderful figures to collect right there. And this is a close up of all those figures in the back. We got Superman, Lex Luthor, The Flash, Bizarro and Black Manta. We got to get them all like the cart says right there in the back. So I'm ready to take them outside of the packaging. I hope you guys are. I am. So here we go. And this is the way Superman looks outside of the packaging. Check him out. He looks very good. And this is a close up of his face right there. Check him out. Looking very dashing. And this is the top portion right there. Check him out. I love that ass on the chest. And this is the bottom portion right there of the figure. So now we're going to take a closer look at this Superman right here. Look at his face. Looking pretty good all the way around. The hair right there. The cape. Oh, I love this ass right there. It's made out of soft plastic. So you can move it around. That's pretty good. Well, let's check out his back. That's the way it looks right there. Reminds me of He-Man figures from there. Here are the boots right here in the back, all that. Let's check out the front. I love that ass right there. Look at that. That looks really badass. You can see the seams right there on his outfit. Look at the muscles, the hands, the little gauntlets. Pretty good. Belt. Little tantarons. His weapon right here, his mace, that looks very good. Well, I thought this would have come off, but it's not. This is actually molded, so he doesn't have a hand. He has a mace. Right here, his legs. His boots from the front. I like this figure. It looks pretty good. Okay, let's check out the articulation. Left, right. Does go all the way around. The hand can go up right there and down, and it does go all the way around to the waist. Can go side to side, and it does go all the way around. That's pretty good. Let's see the leg. Can go out right there and up right there, back, and it does go all the way around. Very basic articulation for these figures. Kind of remind me of the He-Man, the old school He-Man toys. And they look pretty good. I like them. Okay. This is only like 5 inches tall. Not that big. It's like a 5.5 .5 scale. Alright. So now let's try to get him. Well. We can't get him in some poses. This is pretty much it. <laughs> now let's try to compare this to some other figures that I have. 5.5. .5. Here we go. And one accessory he does come with is a shield. Check it out. It's just like the emblem on his chest. That looks pretty nice. And you guys can see right there that it does clip on his hand right there. So that's the way you put it on him. So as you guys can see right there, the shield won't fall off. That's the thing I like about the shield. It's not flimsy or anything. It won't fall off. So that's pretty good. So as you guys can see, I have my original tongue lasher right there from Masters of the Universe. And as you guys can see, they're the same scale, and I like that. So if you have the, the original ones, and you want to add some 5.5, and they go very well with them together, check them out. They look so good together. And there I have the Macho Man from the Masters of the WWE. All 5.5 .5 scale, and they all look good together. Check them out. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to subscribe, there'll be a red button right there in the middle. It says is 316. Go ahead and push it. And you'll be subscribed to this YouTube channel. You want to check out these videos to my left and to the right. They're right there. Click them and you'll be able to see them. So with that said, peace. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Superman.